So Mr. Jamie Hubbard will make the call. He'll probably cut it down a few, maybe three Stay with four. The Up oh, here it goes. This way right Pulling there. out Christian Manilopoulos. The Azawak. The uh, Azawak. He's coming down the ring. Bloodhounds. A very blue tick. confident stride. He knows what he's looking for. Blue blue tick. Bloodhound, blue tick. Long-haired dachshund. Gotta get that dachshund. Harrier. Mm. Harrier's in. That's awesome. He's very decisive. Very decisive. Red bone. Yeah. Red bone coming out. Saluki. Saluki. And the whippet. There we go. All right, sir. Sure. All right, everyone else get Open his back. See so where we go from here. <laughs> it's a nice lineup of dogs. Well, this very is strong. Very strong group. Lots of beautiful uh, examples of the breeds. You know, well, he's looking down the line. He's looking at each of these dogs and seeing which All one. All right, folks, let's take him back. Matches their breed standard. Most Just accurately. one at a time. Please go at a nice, steady pace. Now the Aswalk All the way around to the very end of the line. How much of the movement here can be a deciding factor? This is extremely important because you want to see this dog, not only how their confirmation functions for that dog, but do they go the way the breed was intended? The right speed. Yep. They have to be the right speed and have the right carriage. Do they keep head, the frame? Tail. And look at this blue tip. That is, I love seeing a, a show dog at the end of the lead. Yeah, this crowd at Lyndhurst under the big tent on the grounds enjoying the first of our four groups tonight. If you noticed beforehand, he asked them to go at a slow, steady pace because the people get excited here and they can start to run fast and throw off the way the dog looks on the go. I Each of these handlers has done a superb job with keeping their dogs at the right pace, the right speed, giving I'm Mr. Hubbard their dog at their dog's best. I'm, lo I'm loving that red bone. I think that red bone is mm. beautiful. The Saluki and, of course, Bourbon. He can't go wrong in this lineup. These are all They're strong, all strong contenders. Mr. Hubbard, the steering. Bring out the whippet, please. Yeah. Bourbon's the first pulled out. Could be a repeat blue winner. Tech. The blue tech. Yep. Red bone. Red bone. There you go, gal. Two coon hounds. Harrier. And the Harrier. Just bring him up. Let's this go, is, folks. This is exciting. These this are some breeds that, that don't often get into sure. the, the placements at some of the bigger events, and it's nice to see them being acknowledged because these are really quality representatives. Here and there's Bourbon leading them around the ring. He's getting ready to point. Another hound groups, the whip it. Oh, yes. Blue tick is second. Red bone is third. Harry is third. It. The blue tick. He went with Bourbon. So whip it. Good again. <laughs> Berman's got another shot at best in show. Oh, look at it. All the drink jokes. And yeah. Chesley, <laughs> and, and Chesley <laughs> Smithy is handling Berman. We're very excited for all the placements. I love that the blue tick and the red bone are in there. Yeah. I'm here with Chesley. And Chesley, we talked earlier today. Talk about bouncing back after having babies. Yes. Berman became a mom just three months ago. So from that moment to now punching her ticket to best in show, describe what these last three months have been like. She's an amazing dog. Dog. I mean, she took care of her puppies for eight weeks and then got ready the last four weeks for the show. So. You told us, don't hold you to it, but this could be her last all-breed show and she would retire. You said it's the icing on the cake. What would it mean if that icing on the cake ended in best of show? Oh, I can't, I can't even imagine. Congratulations. I hope, like my kids, or kids are watching tonight. Thank you. Thank you.